This week has been extra enlightening about menopausal weight loss. If you're not familiar with my channel, I'm Reggie and I have now become a certified holistic nutritionist. Is that weird even saying it that way? What it means is that I actually got certified after taking major courses for over a year, which should not have taken me that long, but I'm a busy girl, what can I say? And to really learn about nutrition holistically and what it does for us women, especially for this channel. So I've been continuing my research on menopausal weight loss and I know that I had to step back on a couple of things. First, I stepped back this week officially from ADF and I actually kind of, um, I kind of experimented this week to see where I land on adjusting my macros and also to see how I felt eating multiple times every day. If you're like me and I have been a long-term O-matter eating one meal a day and my body has adjusted to that metabolically speaking and of course your metabolism slows down. Now, it worked for four years but I have to do a different thing when it comes to looking at the change that I'm going through and I think that's the reason why you're probably watching me is that you might be going through this too, perimenopausal or about to enter into menopause. So whatever the situation is, if you're over 40, this is the channel to be on. Now, I'm over 50, I'm actually 52 years old and it hit me like a truck this year, literally. I had three months of hot flashes, bad, 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 at least 20 episodes a day. It didn't matter what I did. I, I drank cold water, I did all that. And then I took herbs, which actually brought everything back into check. Now, it doesn't mean that it won't come back, but I wanna be prepared for it. And I'm hoping that we all can share that information, how we could be prepared for any symptoms and to calm the waters, if you will. And also to continue to lose weight. Just because there's menopausal weight gain doesn't mean that we just have to settle for it, right? It's not over, it's not over. So with that said, macros needed to be adjusted. And so I have experimented with a meal plan this week that is really about focusing on the protein. The number one thing that you should do in menopause and perimenopause is to hike up your protein. Now, everyone's different, so you have to figure out what works for you. You have to look at uh, your exercise level activities. You have to look at where you're starting from and what are the calories that you've been taking in every day and see where you begin because you can't just jump into, like for instance, you're eating 1200 calories a day and then you can't just turn around and say, I'm gonna bump it up to 1600 and not expect to gain weight. So we have to adjust it slowly. And I would suggest like 50 to 100 calories more per day than we were doing before. So that's what I'm doing and I, I think this can work. The meal plan that I've been doing is actually eating three meals versus my one meal, but not necessarily hiking up the calories so much that I would just start gaining more and more weight. So I'm doing it very gradually and slowly. And that's one of my tips for you is to gradually build up your calorie intake if you've been eating a low intake because we know over our years of dieting and the yo-yo dieting and restrictive calories dieting, you know, that just doesn't work for us in the long run. And if we wanna keep continuing to have long-term weight loss and keep it off, meaning fat loss, weight loss can be just water retention. Fat loss is really about building up muscle so you can have a decrease in fat percentage in your body. And that brings me to exercise. The exercise that I have been taking on for a couple of weeks now, more so than I usually do, because I would do one or tw once or twice a week, I would do some strength training, but I really needed to pump it up. And so I pumped it up to four 
days and I actually did five days of strength training. This is really important for us ladies that are going into this change because our bone density, it, it gets weak. It really gets weak and we don't want to get osteoporosis. We don't want to have brain issues, memory issues. You know, there has been linkage to Alzheimer's and things like that, other diseases that could happen to us if we don't pay attention and be more proactive about our health. The anti-inflammatory diet, as I had mentioned in many other past videos, are all about taking care of your hormones. And so you wanna balance out the hormones and the way to do that is with food and with herbs and then supplements. I decided that I'm gonna work with supplements that are food related and holistic, uh, natural, and see where that takes me. But I have to give it a go and at least three to six months before I would even consider anything else if there's an issue. So let's start with food because food is medicine. So here you will see in my meal plan, I am really leading with protein. And so how we look at protein is like one gram for every pound that you weigh right now uh, is kind of where I'm going with it because that's giving me about 30% in my macros and I'm, I'm teetering back and forth between 35 to 40% carbs and 30 to 35% of fat. And fat, you can't be afraid of. You really can't. I was afraid of it for, for a while here. For the past year, I had been, well, I'll say 90% plant-based, but I never stopped eating fish and eggs. I didn't do it as often, but that's always been part of my intake because I need the fish oils. Um, we also need uh, fatty type of foods that will help with the hormones, the complexion, your skin, your hair, everything. Because as we're depleting in the estrogen, progesterone, and the testosterone, all these other and more hormones that are part of the whole map of our body, we need to feed it and nourish it so that we can bring these back up to normal levels. And normal levels doesn't mean that your normal levels may be one thing, my normal levels are another thing. So remember, you're customizing your meal plan to fit you. So as I mentioned about upping my calorie intake, but also upping the protein. It is very important that we count those things and I had to come down to weighing my food. And trust me, I don't really wanna do that, but you really need to do that just so you know where you are and record it. So I'm recording my food every day and making sure that I'm hitting in my macros pretty close as possible because it's a little tough when you first start out not impossible done this before just been a long time and i resist it for a long long time a long long time i ate two to three meals a day and instead of so i you know sometimes i forgot that i needed to eat and i'm working and working but we we know how that is you have to come back to making sure that your calorie intake is up there to the level that it needs to be so your body can get nourished and get the nutrition it needs to feed those hormones properly. With my meal plan, certainly started with the protein and the veggies, mainly all the veggies. And so I'm not afraid of starches, but in this week, I actually just had meat and non-starchy vegetables pretty much. And then I added in some hummus. You know, that is fantastic. You add in hummus with like say turkey or even fish. But in this case, this was for three days at a time. And these meal plans are for those of us that don't feel like cooking. It's not that I can't cook, it's just that I don't have a lot of time. And this, to do three days of two meals, and then also I'll have a shake as another meal. That took me all of 30 to 40 minutes 
to create and and voila there it was it was so easy and then i was good to go for the next three to four days before i needed to cook again so i think if you approach it that way meal prepping if it's not meat if you're going vegetarian or vegan you know beans are great uh, legumes for the protein but make sure you're getting enough there and also with the starches so it's great to have sweet potatoes and other things like that uh, potatoes are good you know i love all that but i had taken a break because of what was going on with my cholesterol nevertheless i can have it i just decreasing how much i was doing because i was doing it daily as a elimination diet 13 to 1400 calories is kind of what i was shooting for because honestly i was not hitting that i was way under what i should be eating which was <laughs> i was way under like 1100 calories a thousand maybe a day that didn't make any sense and my body was hanging on to the fat storage and that's what will happen to you when you start going through those changes in perimenopausal uh, phase and it hangs on to everything that you've been doing in the past. Let me know in the comments if you're doing any type of meal prepping or meal plans for menopause. And I'd love to hear what you're doing and what you're putting in. I want to continue to share with you anything that I'm doing that might be working. And with that said, I actually lost the pound and a half in this last week, which I'm happy about because I was still going up like two weeks ago and you know and that's doing adf okay what is going on and that's when we have to stop take a look what we're doing every day change what we're doing adjust your macros and get that protein and also continue to drinking more water and uh give yourself a break just for a minute you know i'm giving myself a break from the intermittent fasting right now well when i say that i'm still intermittent fasting I'm just doing a larger window now. So I'm doing six to eight hours of eating in the eating window and I'm not on the ADF right now. But who's to know, I might turn, I might turn around and change that again. But nevertheless, I want to continue to feel good, feel better and sleep better. And I think you guys would agree to that. Let's continue to keep sharing on menopausal weight loss and i thank you so much for watching and come check me out on instagram at reg edited and i look forward to see you on the next video and don't forget keep searching for that perfect bite and balance cheers